Match reaction, Manchester United 1, Fulham 0. Webber, your reaction to that game, pal? Should have been 5-2. The chances we missed Bruno should have had a couple, but three points are three points. That game would have lost last year. You know, it took a late goal to win it, but some good people thought the, the new full-back looked like he'd been there a few years, you know, thought he was steady. Uh, just that first game of the season, you've got to get in that rhythm. It's going to be more September when the rhythm comes in. And like I said last year, we could have lost that game, which we did. So, top of the league, happy mm -hmm. days. Yeah, a lot more positives than any negatives tonight. It's not a game where you come away and think, oh, you've got to start moaning about individual or a team performances. It's about getting off the mark, surely, with them yeah. three points. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the managers under a lot of pressure. I'm rightly so with the league position from last year. But Christ, playing a false nine at home against Fulham. You, we do it in the cup final, did it right, got away with it. You do it in the quarter final, semi final of the Champions League, away to Inter Milan. You don't do it home against Fulham when you've got a kid on the bench who plays up front. That's my personal opinion. I just think that we look good in midfield, but we was creating nothing. And when we did create, it was through their mistakes. You know, apart from the one where a nice bit of football in the first half where Bruno and the keeper saved it, but. You know, we've missed some chances again tonight and there again, they missed a couple of good chances early doors, you know, and Arna's made a great save from the, the centre-half who went waltzing through. We made him look like Paolo Maldini. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No one got a tackle him. But three points, I'm not going to come in here and start moaning. Three points, three points, top of the league and roll on to an hard game next Saturday at Brighton. Yeah, I've seen a difference in Casemiro tonight, especially in the energy, getting high up the pitch, trying to stop attacks forming from Fulham. Yeah, it, it, I'm not going to say he's going to... If we can get the player back, which we had the first season, he'll mm. be happy as a pig in muck. Mm. You know, last season he struggled a bit. We got overrun. He didn't have the legs. You know, you look at that Wolves game last year, first game of the season when we did swarming through us. But no, I, I still think that we need something in there, you know, to to uh, complement uh, Kobe. Whether it happens, I don't know. But I just think, like, to play that false nine at home, when we've got... If we've got no one available on the bench then rightly so. But I look at it that if there's a kid doing is what Waitley, who played last Wheatley, year, yeah. Wheatley, put him on the bench. Mm. You know, if the other lad's not fit. But we, we, I'm just saying we got away with it. I think we deserve to win. But we've got to have it right that we're Manchester United. We attack teams. We punish teams. We don't play a false nine at home against a lower team, which which Fulham will probably be this year. But three points is three points, mate. Yeah, Mason Mount as well. A lot of people saying that, like they've like seen what they've already seen in pre-season and the first game from Mount. In particular, he's running, trying to get out, and out the pitch, trying to close people down. When we do start a striker though in the next game or the game after Webber, does Mason Mount drop to the bench for you? Looks like he will do. You know, I just thought his energy was good for that hour. You know, like saying starting the press. You know, could have scored a goal at the Stretford end, probably should have scored a goal. You know, but what he needs now, he needs a run of games. He needs a run of games. You know, last year was a disaster for him. He'd come in, play one, he'd be out for six. Then he'd miss for a few months and he'd get back and he goes out injured again. You know, we know what he can do. You know, he was one of the regulars for England not so long ago. You know, he's come from a good upbringing at Chelsea. If you're not an half-right player, you don't play for them. Uh, I just think he needs that run of games now. Give him five, six, seven, eight, nine games and let's see what, what he's looking like after that because on his day, he's as good as anybody for me. You still think Ahmad deserves a run of games as well? I've seen quite a lot of him in the first half, in moments, but in the second half, seen to peter out and then obviously was substituted. But does he deserve more game time? Definitely. All these players now, no point playing one game and out for free and coming in for a cup. Give him a run of six or seven games, then we can judge him more then. You know, there's no point in, like saying, he's sub at Brighton, he comes on for five minutes and you don't see him for the next game. Give him a run of five or six games. You know, for me, I said before, for me, I would have started with him and Ganaccio. Mm. You know, but obviously Mark has started. I don't think he had a particularly great game. I thought he was average. Did some good stuff. Did some bad stuff. Mm. But like you're saying, three points is three points. You know, a lot of teams we'll see over the weekend and next week who won't be running on full gas, you know, because they're still getting into it. So it was a, it was a very... Good victory for us tonight. What do you think of Harry Maguire? I've not seen him a lot over the last couple of seasons actually play that many games with Martinez, but I thought he looked assured tonight. But what do you think? You know what you get with Adol, don't you? You know what I mean? You're going to get, even if he's playing bad, he'll give you 100%. There was a winner, there was an header in that first half, what got the crowd yeah. going. He won it. He won it. No one was going to beat him. He won it, and that got the crowd going. I feel sorry for Maguire, but, you know, when 
you know, Delic comes on what of it for fifteen minutes. He looks assured, doesn't he? Mm. You know, he he look he's a top he's a he's a top top signing. You know, people keep saying we well, never played a lot for Bayern. Look at his record, he did. You know, he's a great player. You don't play for clubs like Bayern and uh, Juventus if you if you're not half right. And luckily, we've got him in hopefully the best years of his career. Uh, but you know what you get with Vardy. You know, he got absolutely slaughtered here. But hey, he could have crumbled, but he never. He got his head back together and carried on playing, you know, the captain was taken off. He should never have got it in my eyes, but he never did. You know what I mean? A lot of players would have did. Come to this club, things don't go right, they hide, they disappear. You know, look at Sancho, where was he tonight? Not even on the bench. There's no future there for that lad. You know, we've got to get rid of him because he's on big dough. Yeah. He's just sat around, but we've got to make sure it's the right deal for the club and the right deal for him. You know, there's talk of him swap, swapping with a kid at yeah. PSG, yeah, which would which take all day long. You know, I look at that penalty last week at Wembley and he's, he's, he's destined not to have a career there. You know what I mean? The same end he missed at, against for England, against Italy. It's just one of those things, you know, we can go Sanchez. Sometimes this club's not right for people and unfortunately, me and your dad were stood out there for 25 years saying we're going to sign him and we did and it's not worked out for him. But, you know, I think with the right people at the, at the club now, the right structure to move on and make the best decisions for both the player but more for the club. You're talking about Sancho possibly leaving. Is that maybe the last time we've seen Scott McTominay in a Man United shirt? Because there's been a lot of talk about Scott moving to Fulham, who we played tonight. I've seen Napoli before, would interest him. You know what you get with Scott? He's going to give you 110%. You know, he's not the greatest of player, but you'd rather have him in your team than not in your team. And if he was to go, I'd like him to go to Napoli and not coming back to Arn. So we've seen what he's done here, seen what he's done for Scotland with the goals. You know, Scott's a great club man. You know what I mean? But if he's not going to play enough game time, then he's going to have to look elsewhere. And with him coming through the ranks, it's that money situation on the financial fair play, you know, which we'll look at. But I hope he doesn't go, but me head said that he probably will go, maybe to Fulham. Yeah. So yeah. overall tonight, positives, but next game against Brighton, you'd like to see Xerxes start as that striker. Oh, by Ivan Tony before we before next Saturday. No, no, yeah, definitely. You know, he scored the goal. He wasn't the greatest of it, but at the end of the day, he scored on his debut at the Stretford End. It's what I've dreamed about doing all my life. So fair play to him. You know, obviously he needs game time. He's coming late after the Euros and an holiday. I thought I might have seen a bit of him at Wembley, but he never got on. But fair play to him, he's come on. And he's put it in the back of the onion bag at the Stretford End. So fair play to him. But go out and get Ivan Tony, he'll be more than happy than that. But no. If if he's he's fit, nothing happens in training and start him because we need that focal point up front. Yeah. The ball was getting smashed tonight and coming straight back, mm. you know, because we, we never had anyone there. Mm. So yeah, start him next Saturday. Who would you say overall was your man of the match for United tonight? Uh the full back. That's right. Yeah, I thought he'd look look calm and cool there. Probably knackered at the end and he, he was sucking air out of China. Mm -hmm. But you know, fair play I mean, he's only get stronger and stronger and I expect him to be a regular fixture in the team now. Yeah, I expect United to get stronger as well as the season progresses. Let us know your thoughts and opinions on Webby's match reaction, plus your own in the comments below. And don't forget to smash that like button and we'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you.